Hey guys, this is National Master Kevin Yang back at it with another video. So this will be a rather short video to discuss what we learned from this game against Foopalish. So from this game, um, everything in the opening was fine. Now, um, I believe the main line of the stone wall goes something like this. I don't know. Okay, I don't play the stone wall, but I just like to say to me it feels like you know, taking on d5 sort of relieved me of this e6 weakness. So right now you see in this structure that this is a not defended pawn, right? This is the weak pawn. This is like the the um the rock at the very bottom, the rock that is holding all the other rocks in place, right? But once you take it, now, now there's no more, there's no more isolated rock at the bottom, right? And to me, it feels like I've been helped because by playing G6, I can maintain this chain and this chain. And so also i get this square reserved for me so it feels like you know by taking on d5 it gives me a little bit more strength so that's not a mistake it's more of just like a positional concept and whatever so after b4 this was my mistake but i took on b4 and i allowed the bishop to come out of here it was my mistake so after bishop takes b4, bishop e6 was my mistake as well. Maybe I should have played knight g4, but who knows. Um, let's keep going. So I guess this was this was the part where I, I guess I got my play back, right? Just because I get an extra pawn, you see that the computer evaluation is still close to zero. Why? The answer is because white has so much activity in compensation for this one pawn. And so, although you might think, okay, the, the engine gives me numbers and uh, maybe material, but the engine also accounts for, like, is there compensation in the position, right? Is there some play that white has that black may not have, right? So it's those kind of things that make an engine evaluation. So I guess another one of those small mistakes is bishop takes e4. Now, although the computer doesn't say it's a mistake, I kind of feel like it is, and here's why. This bishop to me is pretty strong, right? Keeping pressure on f5. I feel like if you traded it for this knight, this bishop would lose its worth because right now we're in an open position. Rook b1 or bring the other rook to b1. Knight in, knight in, knight in. This is an open position, right? The bishops are good in this. Like, I would look at this bishop and it looks better than this guy. This guy is defending these two. This guy, well, I mean, he's certainly looking towards the center, but there's also the threat of maybe f3, knight g3, e4 maybe, eventually, but those, it just feels like this bishop is more powerful, and it shouldn't be traded with one of my knights. So in this case, after knight f4, now, this was a little bit too ambitious, but sometimes ambition gets the best of us. And after this, I should have played the move queen e8. And after queen c7, here I play rook d7. Bam. Right, with the knight and the bishop guarding it. So this would have been better in defending my d5 pawn. Instead, I did allow knight takes d5, and it all came down, actually, this rook c5 move looked flashy, but 
made my job much easier. And so that is pretty much what I have to say for this game. But if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Don't hesitate to ask a question. And please, have fun. Thank you.